This episode is sponsored by Wondrium. Stick around till the end of the video to learn more about it. Hello, Brains. How much money have you wasted in the last month because you accidentally missed a payment or went into overdraft or didn't end up cooking those vegetables after all and now they're really gross and you still haven't thrown them away so now you're voiding your fridge entirely and ordering takeout? Yeah, that's the ADHD tax. Many of us spend an embarrassing amount on things like parking tickets and late fees, even when we had the money to pay our bills on time. As Andrew Avery put it beautifully in this lovely article, the ADHD tax is the price you pay for costly mistakes due to symptoms of ADHD. But because you're not supposed to plagiarize other people's work just because it was better than what you could come up with, I'll get a bit more specific with it. According to the How To ADHD Dictionary, the ADHD tax, noun, is the extra cost those with diagnosable inattention, hyperactivity, impulsivity, and or executive function challenges incur as a result of being inattentive, hyperactive, impulsive, and or struggling with executive function. It's typically used to refer to financial costs, late fees, higher interest rates, missed flights, lost checks, stuff we didn't return on time, expensive courses we never finish, money we're apparently donating to services we don't even use. A recent study in the US followed a large sample of children with and without ADHD for about 20 years and found that the ADHDers took longer to become financially independent as adults. At age 30, they were worse off financially, and in terms of income, they were estimated to make over a million dollars less during their lifetime compared to the neurotypical group. That's a lot of money. But the ADHD tax can apply to other things as well. Time, relationships, our health, everything meaningful I own because I had the brilliant idea to pack up my car with everything I didn't want to forget before a cross-state move and then forgot to lock the car. <laughs> it's one of those we laugh so we don't cry situations. And truthfully, learning to label it for what it is, the ADHD tax, and something everyone with ADHD experiences can help take away some of the shame. That said, it's still expensive, which when you're on a budget is a problem. How expensive exactly? My research team tells me it's difficult to collect data on exactly how much more we're spending on vegetables we never cook compared with neurotypical people, so those studies unfortunately have not been done. But the ADHD tax is a well-known phenomenon in the ADHD community. All the examples were pulled directly from this community, and studies have been done on some of the average economic costs associated with ADHD. Researchers estimate the annual cost of ADHD in children and adults in the US range between 800 and 20,000 a person due to educational costs, healthcare costs, juvenile justice, and wage loss, absenteeism, disability, work loss associated with ADHD. And the societal costs in the US are estimated to range between 143 to $266 billion every year. And it isn't just in the US. A recent study out of Denmark compared adult siblings with ADHD with a similar sibling without ADHD and found the total average extra cost for one year was over 20,000 euros. And this is only some of the costs involved. Again, this doesn't include rotten vegetables or late fees. The truth is, the ADHD tax is high and it's much higher than it needs to be. Why? A lot of it's systemic. When systems are built to be more error tolerant, it doesn't cost us as much to be more prone to careless mistakes. My car insurance rates stopped going up as soon as backup cams became a thing. Also, ADHD is highly treatable and the right supports can help us keep jobs, succeed in school, and remember to pay our bills. In fact, as expensive as treatment can be, researchers have found that only a small percentage of these costs is for ADHD medication and therapy relative to the higher costs for education, crime, and costs to others. And they conclude that cost-effective treatment of ADHD should prioritize treatment costs, especially psychosocial therapies. In other words, if society took ADHD as seriously as these numbers suggest that they should, and invested in more research, treatments, and supports for those with ADHD, we'd probably all be spending a lot less on ADHD than we are now. One of the ADHD taxes I pay is on instruments I buy and then never play. Wondrium is helping with that. Lately, I've been taking a course on how to play piano. Okay, technically I started last year, but I got really busy and didn't have time for it. Now that I do, Wondrium lets me pick right up where I left off and try again. If you haven't heard of Wondrium, Wondrium is the rebrand of the Great Courses Plus, and it's designed for curious brains. I love it because they have a ton of courses and anything I wanna watch is included in my subscription. How-tos, tutorials, documentaries. Wondrium is where you can find the answer to pretty much everything you've ever wondered about. And the courses are amazing. In five lessons, I've learned how to sit at the piano, scales, music theory, how to read music, I've started improvising, and even been able to play a few songs. Every course comes with materials you can print out, which is great because between sessions, I can easily sit down and practice what I've learned. If I get distracted during a lesson or mess up while I'm playing, I can pause, go back, and try again. Being able to learn at my own pace is helping me make a lot of progress really quickly and drop some of the shame I used to feel around forgetting stuff I've already learned. If I do, I can just watch that lesson again. 
For me, it's been such a great way to learn. Wondrium is offering a free trial right now, and they're regular supporters of this show. So by supporting them, you're also supporting us. If you'd like to try it out, go to wondrium.com slash howtoADHD, or click on the link in the description below to start your free trial today. Thank you to my brain advocates and all my Patreon brains for supporting the work that we do. It's clearly really important. I've included resources in the description below, including ways we can invest in supports for ourselves. Like, subscribe, click all the things, and I will see you next video. Bye, brains. Bye.